you know, sometimes with God, it's an interruption and other times it's an intervention. And uh, I'm finding this year for me to be, uh, well, pretty much one of the hardest years I've had in a long time where I'm finding God is interrupting and intervening. I was thinking this afternoon of how God interrupted me when I was 16 turning 17. I gave my life to the Lord when I was a young fella. Some people know the story. I, I actually uh, have already placed it on YouTube. But uh, I was 16 turning 17. I, I felt very overwhelmed by the people in my church that I was attending because they were all so gifted. I was a member of the band, but as a drummer, but fairly basic. And let me tell you, they were very forgiving on me. I loved Jesus from a young age, but uh, I, I never felt that I would, uh, quite frankly, never felt that I would amount to too much. And uh, my job prospects weren't that high. And, and so, but look, what occurred was, it was my birthday, 16 turning 17. My pastor, who I loved, and will love for the rest of my life and can't wait to see an eternity one day. He gave me a record. Wow, it's going back, isn't it? And it was a record of Andre Crouch, uh, the singer. And uh, it was the song, Tell Them. Well, you know, I laid down, I put the record on, had one of these big, uh, you know, uh, record player with the TV and the radio, one of those, big uh, pieces of furniture uh, put the big earphones on and these were the words tell them even if they don't believe you tell them even if they don't receive you oh tell them for me tell them for me please tell them for me that i love them and i came to let them know as I'm listening to this music, I felt like a physical pressure come upon my body. Uh, and I, I, I began to see visions of people. The song goes on to say, tell them when it seems you are forsaken, tell them when it seems you, uh, you, your earth is shaken. Oh, tell them for me. And it goes on along the same vein. And, you know, the starving child, tell them. That lonely man, tell them. And I began to see visions of this. It was an intervention in my thinking of what God wanted me to do and who God wanted me to be. It was in that moment I felt a tangible presence of the Holy Spirit come upon my life. That very weekend I got on my push bike. I think I... I rode, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 kilometers just visiting people, telling them that God loved them. I didn't have much more of a message. I certainly wasn't a preacher. Uh, and I, I didn't know what else to say, but I would knock on the door and say, I just believe God wanted you to know that he loved you. And, you know, through that intervention of God, I felt a touch of the Lord like I had never felt before and it's to this day it, it's never gone away it's never been taken away sometimes there's an interruption sometimes there's an intervention well it was both and uh, you I would encourage you to allow the Lord to interrupt your thinking of who you are of what you would expect out of life and, and even say, Father, here I am, whenever you're ready, just call me, just do that which you would do in my life. It's really God. Now, as the years went by, I went on to become a pastor and teacher and all this sort of thing. But you know, it still remains. I still feel like that young lad laying on my bed, listening to this song, Tell Them. And I want to tell you right now that God loves you with an everlasting love. Whether you are alone and in despair or whether you're on the top of the mountain and feeling victorious, he's with you today. He'll be with you tomorrow and he'll be with you forever. Allow the interruptions of God. Allow the interventions of God. 
And remember, it is God who does the work in us. It was God who did the work in me. And I know it is God who will continue that work. He will begin the work. He will complete the work in me. And he will surely do the same in you.